Hey friends, welcome, welcome back to M.E. My Hook and I. I'm Betsy <laughs> and it's been a little bit. I have not been feeling well and because of that my Crojo has been kind of slow and uh, so I got a bunch of yarn and I couldn't stand not sharing it with you guys. So you get this lovely sick face <laughs> from bed. <laughs> Every time I post one of these from bed, I go back and I'm like, oh dear Lord, honey, why did you do that? The truth is because I have no other, well, that's not true. Um, you guys are the most fun. <laughs> it's not that I don't have other friends. You guys are the most fun to share my yarn hauls with. But I do have friends. And speaking of friends, my lovely friends, when I put out a call for the new Dollar Tree yarn, Premier Flowers, they came through, guys. They came through in a big way. <laughs> so before you at me with, I can't believe you bought all that yarn, I did not buy it. First off, all of it was a gift. They all refused to let me pay for it. And second off, I didn't tell them what to get. <laughs> so, have you heard that Premier came out with a new yarn at the Dollar Tree? It is gorgeous. And it's not just gorgeous. It's different than any other yarn that I have seen out there. <laughs> and... It is just like the acrylic that has been, I haven't gotten any of the cotton because um, I don't generally use cotton, but that's about to change in the other yarn haul that I'm going to show tonight. But this is just as soft and squishy and luscious as the acrylic that came from the Dollar Tree. In fact, I am on the tail end of one of those skeins in a current project. I happen to have right here. This is the royal purple. And in contrast, I would like to tell you, both of these are four weight. This is 11, 111 yards. Your acrylic, you got 131 yards. So it is a little bit less, but both of them, I think are 60 gram skeins. Yes, both of them are 60 gram skeins. There are more colorways in this like it's just incredible. Some of them are very slight differences and it's hard to tell that they're different. So this color, for my first Dollar Tree yarn haul came from one of my Bible study buddies. Um, her name is Verma and she got one of every color for me that her Dollar Tree had. And so that included this one, which is just called Peach. And so the yarn base is a peach with blue and yellow wrapped in it, and then yellow, peach, and blue fuzz balls. But there is a color that is very similar called Bouquet, which I don't... Okay, this is from my other yarn haul. Uh, is this peach or Bouquet? Like, I, I, I have to look because the differences are very subtle, very nuanced. Um, of course, I put all the skeins that were like together, so I'm having a hard time. Sorry, I'm not prepared. Okay, this is bouquet. All right, so, and I lit my, like, wonderful sick face well so you could see the yarns. So, bouquet has more of a pink tone, and instead of peach fuzz balls like the peach, it's got more of a pink, yellow, and blue. But I think these would make a beautiful gradient. In fact, I think I'm going to make myself and my mom matching um, Just Feel Festive shawls that, like, gradiate with these colors. All right, so those are your two of your peach colors. And then there's a third one called Carnations. Don't you think those together would just be gorgeous? I do. So Carnation is more of a light pink, almost 
white, but not white. Um, with even lighter blue, pink, and yellow. So I think these could all be used, you know, in the same project to create some sort of beautiful gradient. Even if you did, I mean, they look like to the pink and then, the, no, I think I like it better that way with the peach, the pink, and then the light pink. Anyway, um, the next colorway that my friend Virma was able to get me is called Cosmos and it's just gray and coral, kind of a corally pink. And the fuzzballs on it are kind of a pinky purple, gray and pink. So got one ball of that. And then there's kind of almost the reverse of that. Not exactly, but sort of. I mean, I just, I can't get over these colorways and how well they go together too. This one is called Dusty Rose and it's gray and pink. And you got brighter pink little things. So at a dollar a skein for 111 yards, they're not like a fantastic deal, but for the quality of yarn that they are, and let's say like you normally get like 300 yards worth of basics, I think, for, I meant to look that up beforehand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so like it's on par with the rest of Vermeer's yarn, maybe even like a little cheaper but definitely not skimping on Premier's quality for sure. Okay, then we have this color that's kind of a tealish color with green undertones. And you have both yellow, blue, and corally pink little guys. This one is Meadow. And then I'm in love with this yarn, not because I love these colors, but because this is the best boy yarn I have come across in a long time. It's still fun, it's still festive, but it's not like camo or yellow or green. Like I just, I am going to make an Amigurumi monster out of this. I've already started it um, out of the Amigurumi monster one book. This colorway is gem. And um, it also has a coordinating partner which Virma did not see, but another friend of mine who went <laughs> and raided her Dollar Tree for me. Um, this one is called Snapdragon. And they almost at first glance look exactly the same, except this has this kind of lighter green base yarn. But the blue and the coral are basically the same. So that's very cool. So I was extremely grateful for what Virma got me. But as I was going through and making her monster for her new son, um, I realized that not even one skein was going to get me through an Amigurumi monster. And it's, it's not, it's not that big of a monster. So I put out a call, not to be greedy, but to just get one or two more maybe, um, each of the other colorways, but I didn't specify quantities because I didn't know what people would find, right? Well, another one of my, <laughs> it used to be called Bible Study Fellowship, and then there was some joke where it became Bible Study Foxes, like we were foxy ladies. Um, anyway, <laughs> one of my Bible Study Foxes. Came through with the mother love. <laughs> I got 28 skeins. And don't, y'all, do not at me of like, I can't believe you did that and didn't leave anything for the rest of us. I told her nothing. She showed up with this as a gift. I love her for it. I'm not taking it back because the whole point is... I am not leaving the house right now because COVID numbers are big. And before you at me for asking somebody else to leave the house, I said, if you can, if you are able, 
you know, go out and do this. There are lots of people who have already had COVID. There are lots of people who are getting vaccines. Like, I didn't, you know, whatever. There are lots of people who think going to the store is just not a big deal. So, she made that choice for me. <laughs> so, I now have several more of the gym, which I love. Um, there are not that many boys in my immediate family, but... Um, a lot of my friends have boys and the gym. Um, and then I don't think I told you. Yes, this is Meadow. I'm double checking that this is also Meadow. I think I showed you all the colorways that I have. So, um, Go out to your Dollar Tree and have fun because also they're coming out with more textured cotton yarns. Um, I've seen more colors of the acrylic popping up. And y'all, like for coming from the Dollar Tree, this is not crappy yarn. This is really good stuff. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> and um, I'm excited to see what everybody makes out there. I'm getting blamed for a lot of people's yarn hauls uh, because I posted in Cinnamon Stitches book um, group about it and then apparently Cinnamon Stitches went and got a bunch and blamed it on me. Y'all, blame it on Premiere. It's totally their fault. Okay, my next haul is my first order from um, Lovecrafts. I had not ordered from their, them before, and if you remember from my New Year haul, I had gotten this book from Joanne, 30% off, and it has the most absolute cute, 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 cutest amigurumi in it, what? And they're all kind of in these coordinating, almost pastel-y colors. This, those pictures are too tiny, really to show but anyway they're adorable and in the book she uses I think a DK weight I kind of prefer using worsted weight um even though I still go down to like a 3.25 hook just because I feel like I'm not fighting the yarn quite so much to like make those stitches tight and as you'll recall from Dolly who's not done, but now has arms and, as of today, a wig cap. Um, I'll have an update on her soon-ish. Like I said, it's been slow because I haven't felt good. And amigurumi is one of those things that you have to have good brain day. <laughs> um, and it's, yeah. So, anyway, um, I wanted to try cotton yarn after I had such a hard time with the acrylic yarn that Dolly was made out of stretching so much. And also found an excellent channel called Le Petit Crochet, um, Le Petit Saint Crochet. And um, I'm, I'm not feeling well enough to edit this video, but I'm hoping once it posts, I'll go back and update the, the, um, the what's that called? The description box so you can go find her channel because she has lots of really great amigurumi tips and in one of her videos, she also recommended cotton yarn, and she recommended the paint box cotton, oops, this is rainbow, the paint box cotton DK. And I figured that the cotton content between DK and Aran Waite was probably the same, and paint box yarn is usually the cotton, um, Actually, most of the time, they're, all the paint box yarn is usually on sale for about $2.10 a ball. And they have pre-curated packs that you can get of colors. So, I got two um, colorway packs of yarn and then ordered some what I thought might be good skin tones on their own. So, um... The first pack I got had dolphin blue, pistachio green, daffodil yellow, pure black, misty gray, and raspberry pink in it. And the second pot, 
The second pack had Vintage Peak Pink, Candy Floss Pink, Seafoam Blue, Slate Green, Mustard Yellow, Dusty Rose, and Melon Sour Bay in it. So, I ended up putting them in the bag, almost color order. So, if I can remember, I will tell you which pack it came in. And then I ordered um, Light Caramel for skin tones on its own, a black and a white. So... Um, this is the skein. So again, it was two dollars and ten cents. Air. This is cotton Aran weight, which is the same thing as worsted weight. I found it to be very similar to some universal yarn from Hobby that I got in my Crochet Society December kit, I believe. So I was going to compare the stats for you. Now, um, I looked up the Rainbow Eight. This is their eight by eight. So, um. Their eight ply yarn, cotton yarn, and it was currently two dollars and seventy cents a ball. And their shipping tends to be a little bit more than Lovecraft's. I think Lovecraft's shipped it to me for like, let's see if it says. I don't think it was, and I don't think it was much more than like five or six dollars. Plus every receipt has a 20% off coupon on the bottom. So every consecutive order you make, you could always get 20% off. Um, so, all right, let's compare here. They're both 100% cotton. Um, trying to find the yardage on this one, 50 grams. All right, this is approximately 1.75 ounces. 75 meters, 82 yards. So this is cheaper and you get 93 yards. There's a little bit more on this. So paint box is still a better deal, even though they feel very similarly. However, I can already tell that this is a little more splitty than the rainbow. I haven't worked with it yet, so I can't give you a full review on that, but I will update for you. Um, this one recommends a three and a half to four millimeter hook. And this one recommends a four and a half millimeter hook. So I will probably go down to 3.25, maybe even 2.25, um, when I'm doing amigurumi for this. But maybe I won't have to since it's cotton. So I'll show you more colors. So this is Misty Gray. That's a little bit washed out. Oh, it's a little darker. I thought that was the, this is the, I got two of those. And um, the cat that is on the front cover of the Amigurumi book is what I want to make first. And she uses a gray. This author recommended a DMC version of Cotton Thread. Which is, I think you can actually get that at Lovecrafts, but that's a little harder for us to find here in the U.S. They're more known for their embroidery floss here. Then we've got three different colors of blues. Grab here. Oh, and Lovecrafts always gives you this cute little organza bag, which is nice for a project bag. Um, and this is Paintbox White. Again, compared to Universal's White, Universal's White is a little bit more bleached, but not, this is a little bit, reading a little bit more yellow, but not bad. <laughs> that was my dog in case you were wondering um all right so then we have three shades of blue here so first we have dolphin blue and so i'll hold dolphin blue up this one is seafoam blue so you can kind of see a comparison and this one is duck egg blue so that one has more of a green tone and this is kind of my only purp, I think my only purple that I got. Yeah. So this is Dusty Rose. That's interesting. <laughs> it's most definitely purple, but they're calling it Dusty Rose. And then here's the black that I got. Now, the I think this is the caramel color. It's a little dark. It's a little orange for a skin tone, but wouldn't be terrible for certain skin tones. Um, 
So again, that is the light caramel. If you were interested in that for skin tone, I would actually use either of these. This was the vanilla cream. I think I ordered that on its own too to see what it looked like. And then in the range of oranges then, kind of more orangey tones. So this is the light caramel. This is melon sorbet. And <laughs> this is vintage pink, even though it's most definitely more of a rust color. So there's all three of those together. Those would coordinate really nicely. So again, you got light caramel, melon, and what did I say that was? Vintage pink. And then we'll move on to our pinks here. So I like that this was these packs were able to give me kind of, you know, a smorgasbord of colors to know what to order next if I like it. However, what I meant to say about Le Petit Saint was that after a while, she was saying that the cotton was really hurting her hands and she moved to paint box wool mix. So I hope that doesn't happen with me. Um, I have worked with this and I don't remember it being... Um, cause one of my very first yarn hauls on my YouTube channel was a universal cotton mystery bag and I, I've liked it. So I just, I, you know, it was a little more expensive and I wanted to try paint box cause I'd never gotten it. Um, all right. So here's our pink ranges. This one is actually a little more purpley pink than it's currently picking up on camera. I don't, oh yeah, that's only getting worse. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so that is raspberry pink. I would, because it does kind of have a purple tone. Um, this one was bubblegum pink. Blush pink. And, you know, if you had somebody who was super pink toned, you might could get away with using that as a, I mean, I'm naturally kind of pink toned. Anyway, blush pink. And candy floss pink. So there's those. And then we've got our yellow tones here. They have beautiful yellows. All right, so we have banana cream. That's reading a little more hot yellow. It's much more muted um, in person. Let's see if I can get yeah, I mean, that's kind of closer, but it's still reading. So I don't have the best lighting set up right now, clearly. Um, then we have daffodil yellow and mustard yellow. That's pretty darn spot on for mustard yellow, I have to say. Anyway, all right, and last but not least, the green tones. So we have pistachio green. That's a little more muted in person too. I don't, um, this is spearmint green, more of a true green. And this beautiful color is slate green. So, um, oh, I have one. No, that was the raspberry. Never mind. So I got all of this for $52 with shipping. Um, which was pretty awesome. And I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, my goal is to finish. I have a blanket that I'm trying to finish, which is almost there. And then um, I'm to the point to where I need to do Dolly's face and Dolly's hair, which are the parts that are intimi intimidating me. And when I say Dolly, if you haven't watched any previous videos, I mean Dolly Parton. <laughs> I'm making a crafty cool Dolly Parton. Um, so yeah, the wig cap is made. We're getting ready to, to put the hair on and then like straighten it with a flat iron. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then I have to embroider her face, which I'm super nervous about and then put all the embellishments on. So I, um, I will probably start one of the Amigurumi treasures from this book, probably the Catacorn. Um, once I get the 
blankets finished that I'm working on, which I did not expect to still be working on at this point in January, but that's life. Um, oh, oh, I should have said this at the very beginning of my video because I doubt anybody has really watching this long. Um, I decided to get rid of my PO box. Um, shoot, I should have said that. <laughs> I'll try to remember to put that in the comments. Um, I don't really think it's going to impact a whole lot of people. I set it up three months ago and, um, I got like four pieces of mail, which is not like, oh, poor me. Nobody sent me mail. Um, I might try it again when I get a larger audience. Um, it was $17 a month <laughs> and that's $17 a month I could be spending on yarn. So if you really feel so inclined to send me mail, um, you can send me a message via my email below or catch me on Instagram and, um, you know, I'd be happy to give my address to either of the four people who sent me mail, um, especially you, Barbara. <laughs> Send me those postcards because I love it. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I will try again eventually, you know, down the road. But for now, it's like, you know, not not worth the money I could be spending on yarn. No offense. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking by me, even when I don't post near as often as I want to. And I will catch you guys later.